My name is Joe Babiak. I'm the managing director of the Belfast Distillery Company. My first trip over here was in April of 2016. And on that visit, we fell in love with the project, the idea and the vision for what could be created here at the jail and with McConnell's. And the project has been a labor of love ever since. There's no other project like this in the world. And there's no other city that would be home to such a great opportunity to not only revive a historic whiskey brand, but also to bring a brand and a project at a facility like this to a city that appreciates both so much. So it was a unique opportunity and one that we were really excited to find a way to invest in. Any project this complicated has obstacles and unexpected twists and turns. Certainly the pandemic was one of them, but McConnell's itself is an old brand and there's a lot to learn about that. And the jail itself is a grade A listed building, so a lot of care had to go into making sure that we did right by the building and its history. John Kelly, CEO of Belfast Distillery Company, part of the team that's bringing the distilling of Irish whiskey back to Belfast. McConnell's is a fantastic Belfast brand. It fell into demise in the 1930s, but we've resurrected that brand. We're already in 20 markets around the world. Now, in next year, having the home of McConnell's here in the city is going to help us tremendously in, in growing the brand. I've been involved in the project for about 18 months. Uh, I'm delighted to say that today we really have broken ground on the building of the McConnell's distillery and visitor experience. Well, look, it's, it's going to be clearly very different than what it is today. You know, this is going to be a state-of-the-art uh, Irish single malt distillery producing the greatest single malt on the island of Ireland, we hope and believe. Um, we're also going to have a visitor experience that can accommodate well over 100,000 people per year. Uh, here in North Belfast, that's a fantastic investment, you know, and what we're about to do is bring employment and investment to this part of the city. We're building a fantastic distillery and something that's going to be fantastic for Belfast in terms of tourism and for the local community. So our hope and expectation is autumn of next year, uh, we'll be able to welcome visitors to the home of McConnell's. Nothing happens quickly in the Irish whiskey industry. Um, it takes three years and one day in order to have single malt Irish whiskey, pot whiskey or grain whiskey. We will actually have the first distillates coming off the stills in autumn of 2023, which means by autumn of 2026, we will be able to sell the first Irish whiskey from our home uh, McConnell's distillery and visitor experience. It actually will be the 250th anniversary of the birth of J&J McConnell's as a brand. What greater way to toast that birthday than with some Irish whiskey from here in North Belfast.